Welcome to another edition of In the Frame with Gene Seidman, news from the global art world. Today, at the University of Texas in Austin, at the remarkable Ellsworth Kelly Chapel. And Kalia is here to Hello. tell us a little bit about it. So, Kalia, take it away. Ellsworth Kelly really wanted you to spend time with this building and to continue to come into it uh, time and time again and to learn the meaning for yourself. So after spending a lot of intimate moments being a gallery assistant in this building um, and being, you know, it's the only time where people can be in here alone, I have really learned kind of the secrets here and there and I'm always learning from this building. Um, the white marble is going to be the same marble that Michelangelo used from Carrera and the black marble is going to be black marble from Turkey. 12 squares here and 12 squares here and 9 squares front facing. And these lights always change throughout the year so in the summertime it'll be bright right now is whenever it gets brightest and we get to have this lovely circle. So Ellsworth Kelly he had the plans for this building for 37 years and after the war ended, he decided that he definitely wanted to continue to be an artist. And so he went all around Paris into different areas. And that's where he saw Notre Dame. And you can see the exact same tumbling squares, mm. which is really cool. Yeah. And that's where he took that from. Um, but he just abstracted it. And also, with the tumbling squares going around, you can see right here on this window or on this um, piece of marble. This is where you can see the most of the stations of the cross. So this is Jesus being crucified and that's why it's the straight up angle. But if you go around to this side over here, the all black piece is death. The white and black piece is putting Jesus to rest and then the all white piece is resurrection and people pay a lot of attention to the colors of the squares on the walls and people pay a lot of attention to the um, 14 stations of the cross here but what's my favorite part is the totem because the totem is a part of a whole in many ways it's a part of a whole in the way in which it's a fragment of a 360 degree circle. So it's wider at the top and smaller at the bottom, but it's also a part in the whole in a way in which it's one full redwood tree um, that was found at the bottom of a riverbed and redwoods only grow with other redwoods. So that's how it's a part of a whole in that sense as well. Um, and then he got a lot of inspiration from Greek and Egyptian architecture and how they like to make um, human bodies within their architecture and make something more robust. So this is going to be the masculine figure with the broad shoulders. And that's why it's really, really amazing and wonderful is because that is the constant in life always in flux. And with the Stations of the Cross being life is hard, you bear your own cross, you're always going through life and it's always changing. And so is the lights in this building. So it's really cool to also enjoy the totem and how it is a constant in your life. And so Ellsworth, Ellsworth Kelly passed away in 2015 right. and this was completed in 2008. Spiritual. Do you feel more spiritual than religious? It's like the closer that you get to yourself, the closer that you get to God. So this is a time where you can really enjoy yourself, um, but also this peace and of being a part of a whole, which I think is what Ellsworth was alluding to, is that we're all parts of a whole, so. That's great, well thank you. It's so nice to spend some time yes, with you. of course, it was and, so nice. <laughs> and um, it's another edition of In the Frame, Gene Seidman, and today from the University of Texas at Austin and the Ellsworth Kelly Remarkable Chapel. <laughs>